What's going on guys? Right now I'm fixing to head over to PFI and if you couldn't tell from the title already, I'm going to be picking up the block for the Honda Odyssey. So if you guys don't remember, that was the van we picked up a few months ago and we plan on pulling the motor out of that one and dropping in a Bill H22 into it. It's the same motor setup that is in my hatch and we plan on making quite a bit of power in a uh, minivan so I think it should be a pretty fun build. Uh, I plan on doing this over the winter and obviously there'll be other things going on but I've been waiting for the block. That was the last piece I really needed before I could kind of get started on the van. I still want to blow it up with nitrous. I've been just waiting until I got the block because I didn't want to just blow it up and then let it sit there uh, without it being able to run and drive if we needed to move it or anything like that. But now that I have the block or I don't have it yet, I'm going to go pick it up. But once I get the block, uh, I plan on seeing how much nitrous that thing can take and then whenever that motor grenades or whatever happens to it, I'm going to rip it out, build this uh, H22 for it and put it in and we're going to have one of the baddest minivans uh, around for sure. So I'm going to head over there right now and I think Wyatt's going to be there as well. Oh shit. I think Wyatt's going to be there as well. He's getting his Integra tuned today. He just got a GSR head put on it and I'm sure I'll show some of that as well because he's pretty excited to get that thing uh, back to the track with his new higher flowing head and hopefully it makes a little more power and has better better power band because that's what he's looking for in the Integra. But I'm going to head over to PFI right now and go pick up this block. Ready to make some power, boy? It's going to do something. <laughs> Yeah, it should be all right. Looks good though. Again, <laughs> she needs more boost. Only on APSI, though. That was some boost, bro. Oh, 453. Hey, I was pretty close. I guess 424. Damn. Dude, look at that, dude. It Whoa, fucking, the fuck up. She takes <laughs> off. Five, 527, bro. Dude, and look at that. She's holding it. Dude, She's holding it. Fuck yeah, it's That is a, a course. It's a piece of shit. How much boost did we have to push to make that power before? Like 29, 30 ish? 30? So that's 25 pounds. Like, right. no, dude. No, it's holding it. 100 horsepower. Yeah. It knows off 100 horsepower yeah. before. That's what's up. And though it's still rich, it's yeah. still fucking. The need for a fine. 16 degrees, like, there's no timing. Yeah, that's the No timing. It's like conservative as fuck. Alright, 700, let's see it. Don't do that. Fucking 600 or bust? Go get a Twinkie. <laughs> Five seventy two, bro. Oh, shit, brother. Damn. Five seventy two, and it's holding it. Damn, that's legit. Twenty five pounds boost still. Too legit. Twenty five pounds. Oh, that's sick. See that GS Tower head's doing work. Twenty five pounds. Boy. Way more efficient, and it's making more power. And that turbo shaft, fucking turbo there. Like, Hella shot player. That's sweet, dude. 28 more horsepower should be at 600. So this next pull, you're just gonna clean up the fuel a little bit, yeah. right? Right? It's in boost control, man. Right? Gonna make the same exact power, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, we use the boost control table to to turn up the fuel. Yeah. That's what Wyatt doesn't know. Yeah. Is that he's gonna make some more power right now? We just don't tell him. <laughs> Just send him to get a Twinkie. <laughs> oh, what the hell? 
Well, Jamie, you're supposed to do a little that way, not that way. It stood up a lot quicker, though. Look yeah. at that. And that run was literally just to clean up a little bit of fuel. So yeah, I, I think turned up the boost, but it didn't go up. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Cool. It was like half a pound, but it, see, I stood it up a lot. Quicker. Yeah. So, so does that mean you need to clean up the fuel some more? Yeah, definitely. So, is that saying it won't make 600, or is that saying go get a token? Five nine three. Oh shit. So close, 593 bro. Still not fucking 600. <laughs> I know, if it makes shit. if it makes 599, they're gonna give you shit. Dude, I know. You gotta do 600. 449? 449 torque, that's pretty good. Fuck, dude. You don't fucking make it. Dude, I am so scared right now. Come on, big person. You got it. <laughs> One or 32 psi, yeah, but it would only make like 550. Oh, yeah, 600. Oh, man, here it is. All right, so here it is. Brent just got it picked up, got the block for the minivan. So, oh, shit, the pool ball's starting up again. We'll have to continue this after the dyno pool. After the dyno break. And here is our sponsor, Coca Cola. <laughs> All right, so we got the block. Uh, we these. So, can you explain, like, kind of what they did? Because this is the okay, closed so this, deck, so it's not typical this the, sleeves. This is the way. This is the way Brent does these 20 <laughs> <laughs> So I step deck them, um, which so there's a 5,000 slip. So when you clamp the head, uh, it'll work like an O-ring without having to O-ring the block. Yeah, because a lot of the high horsepower Hondas, they'll machine a groove right through here and put a copper o-ring right and it help, helps keep the head gasket so from blowing out on the h22s i've always done it this way i've we've already made over a thousand horsepower this way so it works beautiful it's reasonably priced and yeah so we might have all the, all the power. <laughs> might have a thousand horsepower minivan here in the future yeah. <laughs> that's so, that's so sick keep the comments coming in thousand horsepower <laughs> Yeah, so we this, gotta push Kyle. this block is ready to take anything. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna do the same sleeves on the other H22 I have that melted that piston. Yeah. So then I'll have an extra for the hatch and get that all put together. But So then we can get real rowdy with the hatch. Hell yeah. Which I think we're, we're gonna do anyway. Yeah, probably. But we finally got the block, so the turbo minivan will be starting here pretty soon. Yep. We just gotta blow up that motor with nitrous. Yep, and that's, <laughs> that's coming soon. Yep. <laughs> That'll be so fun. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm probably more excited. Yeah. I get to drive it. <laughs> get to die, yeah. <laughs> have you ever turbo, have you ever dynoed a minivan before? Well, yours. Well, besides that one? Mine. Yeah. I think that's about it. No one has ever built you, like, brought you a built minivan or anything, no. right? No. It'll be a first of its kind. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll so get her home. We still have to get this uh, like line home though, right? Oh, to match we'll the, the, we'll the, the pistons. Home. Yeah, we'll have. Well, well, once we get the pistons, then we'll finish the bore and hone, make sure it's all legit. Now we can check the line home, and then uh, from there, yeah, we'll put her together and she'll throw down. That's Hope the, the goal. Subscribers will have to tune in and watch watch Kyle get nuts in a minivan. <laughs> What if the minivan goes nines before the hatch? I wouldn't even be mad. <laughs> I wouldn't even be mad. That'd be so <laughs> sick. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Taking your kids to soccer. Get her loaded up. Yep. Be on my way. Right on. All right, guys, so we got the block for the minivan. And real quick, I'm going to go over to the van itself and kind of go over uh, what the plans are going to be for it. 
All right, guys, so here is the van. Um, I forgot what year this one is, but it's from 95 to 98. It's a first-generation Honda Odyssey with a four-cylinder F22. And the paint on this thing is pretty good. The body's not in too bad a shape. There's a couple dings here and there, like that fender and the uh, turn signal's missing right there on the front. But I think I'm gonna leave the outside of the van pretty much the way it is. I want this to be a sleeper, and it's definitely going to be. No one's going to expect uh, a turboed minivan making like five or 600 horsepower at all. So taking a look under the hood once I get this thing propped up. All right, there we go. So this has a F22 B6 engine, and this thing has like over 300,000 miles on it. I forgot the exact mileage, but it's a lot. And right now it makes 180 wheel horsepower on a 100 shot of nitrous, which currently the nitrous solenoid is not in the car. Uh, I do need to put that back in there, which will be super easy. And then we're probably gonna put some bigger jets in it and see how much it can take before the motor uh, explodes. I already have the motor mounts on the way. The F22 and H22 are very similar, but the mounts are a little different. I have some solid mounts on the way for this thing and uh, the wiring harness should work with the H22. Uh, this is an automatic, so all the sensors going to the transmission for like the shift solenoids and stuff like that, I'm just not gonna leave any of that plugged in, and the harness should work from what I've read online. But yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to swap the H22 in. This Odyssey shares the same engine bay as like a 95 to 97 Accord, and people H swap the Accords all the time, and I've actually seen a couple of these Odysseys with an H22 in them as well. But yeah, I'm super excited for this build and it should definitely be a fun one. I have so many ideas for this van, and I really do wanna get it running with the H22 by sometime this winter, and have it, and hopefully have it up and running sometime next year. Inside, this thing still has its complete stock interior, definitely beat up in a couple spots. It's pretty dirty as well in here. I think I'm gonna leave the interior as stock as I can for right now. I kinda of like how it is. I'll see in the future, maybe we'll change it up but I might strip some of the weight out of this thing. These things only weigh like 3,200 pounds uh, from factory, which isn't even that bad at all for being a minivan. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the van. There's really not much more to talk about until we get into it, but that is the plan for the minivan. I know I haven't mentioned this thing in a while, but I've just been mainly waiting on that block to come in. So now that I finally have that, we're just gonna have to order some pistons, then get the uh, block lined home to fit those pistons, and. I'll have everything I need to put this thing together. So if you wanna see more of this van in the future, just make sure you like and subscribe. There will be more videos of this thing coming up very soon. I have parts on the way, and this is gonna be a fun build. I'm really excited for this one, guys. So, thanks for watching.